Hey, I'm Al McGee with Your Entertainment Ticket at www.yeticket.com. Well, the film I'm going to talk about right now is called Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Well, the title confused me a little bit because the great director, Italian director, Sergio Leone, well, he had two movies called Once Upon a Time in the West and Once Upon a Time in America. He had those titles. So maybe Quentin Tarantino is doing an homage to him. Hey, Quentin Tarantino, you're a great director yourself. You don't need to do that anymore because you're great yourself. But anyway, let's talk about this film. Well, you know, I was watching um, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee with Seinfeld and Eddie Murphy, and they were in Hollywood, Sunset Strip area, and I realized that all that magic is gone that you see in this film in 1969. You see the long-haired hippies, and you see the movie theater marquees, many of them. Well, all that is gone now. It, it really is. And he, Quentin Tarantino, takes you back to the late 60s in Hollywood when all of that was magical. It was all there. You see the names of these movies on these marquees and things like that. Well, the two main characters, Rich, Rick Dalton, played by Leonardo DiCaprio, well, he's a, a star, but not a real big star. He does TV westerns, and he does other parts in other movies, too. You'll see him in many different movies and many different parts. And also his best friend and longtime stuntman, Cliff Booth, played by Brad Pitt. You know, you see where there are many scenes of Dalton playing different characters, and, and also you'll see that, hey, this guy, he's not a bad actor. Now, Quentin Tarantino, like I said, is a great director. In fact, that was a great scene where Dalton, uh, he was with his uh, eight-year-old co-star, played by Julia Butters, and they had this great conversation. This is one thing I like about Quentin Tarantino. He really knows how to write a script for the actors to have a great conversation and also great dialogue for you to listen to and to watch. I really enjoyed that part. Also in this film too, you got the actress Sharon Tate played by Margot Robbie. And at first you th would think, hey, this is about Manson and things like that. Well, again, this is Quentin Tarantino. This is where he uh, does his best as in that you anticipate what you think you might want to see, but he does what he has to do to make you reverse everything visually. You know, Sharon Tate's in, in this. Also, she has her uh, Polish filmmaker husband, Roman Polanski, in this film. And also, Emil Hirsch, he plays Jay Seberg, which is, which is the neighbors of Dalton and Booth. And, you know, this is a very good film about old Hollywood at that time, but how it's changing, how it's fading, and things like that in 1969. There's two parts to this film, of course. Again, many films have two parts, but the second part is one of the best parts I've seen in a film today. Now, there are many actors in this film besides Brad Pitt, Margot Robbie, Emil Hirsch. You got Timothy Oliphant. You got Julia Butters. Dakota Fanning, Bruce Thern, the late Luke Perry, Damian Lewis, Al Pacino, Nicholas Hammond, Costa Rowan, Damian Harriman, Lena Dunham. I was surprised to see her. The great cut Kurt Russell. You know, I had a great conversation with Cut Russell a few years ago. And Ruma Willis is in this film too. Now, I will admit that this is a great statement about Hollywood, but also a great statement about how we, the public, love Hollywood. And we love these stars. We love these people who act and work in Hollywood. And Quentin Tarantino focused on that. But in the end, he gave us something that we really, really was watching for, that we really, really wanted. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is one of the best films I've seen this year. I'm giving this four palm trees out of four. I mean, if I gave a 10, I'll give it 10. 
I love Quentin Tarantino's work. I love what he does on script, and also he directed this film. I love what he did with his direction. And the actors in this film, they really felt like they really enjoyed working for him, but not only that, working with this script, and also working with the dialogue that uh, Quentin Tarantino presented to them uh, when they got in front of the camera. Man, but wait till you see old Hollywood at 1969. You'll sit back there and watch this film and say, I remember that, yes. And you will say to yourself, man, Quentin Tarantino, you did it again. He really did four palm trees out of four, four stars out of four stars. Quentin Tarantino, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Wonderful, great film to watch. Hey, I'm Al McGee with Your Entertainment Ticket at www.yeticket.com. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. You are watching yeticket.com with Al McGee. Movie reviews and interviews. This is yeticket.com. Y-E-Ticket.com Your entertainment ticket We are your entertainment ticket That's right Y-E-Ticket.com We are your entertainment ticket That's right